Oh, we're going to have a go at making a ring on www.3dcadjewelry.com. Um, it's it's a, a shape ring. I'm going to start by drawing a triangle. Um, because it's going to make the basis of it, we use it like for a measure. Uh, I'm going to draw a curve from points, an arc from points, something like that. Well, uh, and that curve is one, one part of the shape that we want to make. Um, I'm drawing a guide for the bottom of a profile that I want to sweep. I'm going to rebuild the curve uh, with five points in it and that allows me to easily adjust it. I'm going to drag that up and tap out and that give me a copy of it. I'm not too bothered about dimensions at the moment because I can scale it. Um, put the points on. I'm going to drag that point down <coughs> and that point up. Okay, so that's giving us that sort of affair. Um, and I'm going to highlight the measuring line on the bottom of the line with an arc, a curve, sorry, and draw, draw it up, just snap into the point with the end snap and the mid snap. Just the end snap, I think. Uh, and then I'm going to array that round. Find the right one. Hmm. Right polar from F4, three items. Let's put the um, ends of the curve at the angles that I want them. <coughs> and now I'm going to sweep the profiles on the shape. Um, check the curves, the uh, directions are the same. Uh, and I'm going to make sure maintain height is clicked. Okay, that. Let's give me this oh, shape. Um, I'm going to array that again three times, and that gives us a, I don't know, Celtic knot sort of idea. Um, I'm going to pick a ring size. Ten and a half, average sort of ladies ring. Not really gone to dimension on this, it's just to show principle. But as you can see, the, um, the pattern's massive, so. Um, I'm gonna join that together, just to freeze if we're working. So let me get rid of it. No, I did. Okay, so we need to work out the length of this. We tap length in, gives us the length in millimeters. Copy that with a right click. And let's go into the top view on the line and then I'm going to paste um, the measurement there and that will restrain that line to that press shift so it's straight and that gives us a line um, that exactly the same length as the curve for the finger size. <coughs> sure why I did it again then. <laughs> Yeah, you're going to scale that with a gun ball. Say just something, just going off the squares on the board, on the grid. Something, something like.
because I moved it all the best in my last set of show, but it didn't get there, basically. Try to level them out now. So I'll just draw a guideline in on the top. There's a guideline. Bring all them down, big one ball. And I'm going to drag that in so it's about halfway on the profile, something like that. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so I need to. Um, spaces so they're the same length as that line or actually a little bit longer so pull that right down to the end there so it's just touching I'm just try to get an idea of how much overlap I need so the end meets it so I couldn't remember the command <laughs> For that type lens, that gives a length of one point one mil, just over. <coughs> so I'm gonna copy that to the end to extend the line. So I know I need to extend it by that much. In fact, the first time I did it, I actually forgot to calculate the overlap of the, um, that we need on the other end. So, actually, I did a different line to then, but... So, array. Number is, however you can, you just guess at it, I guess 12. Um, the important thing is to make sure that the last one is the opposite one to the first one, so they fit together. This is a space in an array. I want to get it to about halfway there on the profile. There we go. And that, that is the right way around what the stream menu will. What I've got to do is add the half the thickness of, of the profile so it overlaps. So it's a scaling them, scaling them about now to get that solid. So yeah, and I copy that. I turn the um, green on green off so I can see, see where we're going. And I'm just going to add the new length to that to give me enough to overlap at the end. Okay, so I'll bring the green part back now. I just need to scale that forward enough now. scale it's going to change the shape slight the shape slightly but when it's flowed it, it does anyway so it's I don't think it's noticeable the symmetry not the shape okay so we're going to select them now flow along the curve select the curve like the 
ring size. So it flows the wrong way, just select, select the other end of the curve, and it'll flow the right way because it flows inside. Add that. Delete that. So that's our finished ring. Everything meets up nicely. And then all those parts are uh, individual bits, so uh, we use a command called GV Mesh. Um, which basically puts a, a shell around it, so that's all um, one complete shell as opposed to lots of bit little inter intersecting parts. And that's ready for printing. Alright, it gives you an idea anyway. Alright, thank you. Bye bye.